this developing story on the heels of this nearly 170 page uh, report from Madoff whistleblower and financial investigator Harry uh, Marco Polos. We're getting now a response. We got a response from GE on this report earlier today, but now we're getting a direct response from GE CEO Larry Kolf as well. He says, quote, GE will always take an allegation of financial misconduct seriously, but this is market manipulation, pure and simple. Mr. Marco Polo's report contains false statements of fact, and these claims could have been corrected if he had checked them with GE before publishing the report. The fact that he wrote a 170-page paper but never talked to the company officials goes to show that he is not interested in accurate financial analysis, but solely in generating downward volatility in GE stock so that he and his undisclosed hedge fund partner can personally profit. You may recall earlier today on Squawk on the Street, we had Mr. Marco Polos on. I actually asked him why he hadn't spoken to the company. Uh, the point he had made was that he was relying on financial statements and that, um, based on his experience talking to the company, he didn't want to put them in a position to be able to destroy any kind of evidence or financial documentation. Nonetheless, this is the response from GE CEO Culp, and we'll continue to bring the latest as this story unfolds.